You really should start to build your smuggling empire as soon as you can, as it gives you access to all of the most powerful endgame weapons and armor for your ship, and it is the only way to get the blueprint for the rarest ship in the game. Let's jump straight into the easiest and quickest way to get your empire growing so you can buy all of the best items. Firstly, you will need to reach the Kingpin rank, and this gives you access to the helm, which is the smuggling organization. The main aim of your smuggling empire is to obtain a special currency called Pieces of Eight. And the best way to get this currency is you need to take control of manufactories, which are dotted around every town on the map. These manufactories generate Pieces of Eight over time. There are two ways to take control of a manufactory. These include a PVP event and the other option is a PVE event. So if you don't like PVP, don't worry, you can still get your manufactories just through the other option. I'll start by explaining the PVP event. When you're in the helm map, it shows a countdown at the bottom left of the screen that will show you when the next PVP takeover opportunity is available. It will indicate the PVP event with a red icon called hostile takeover. This event is random, so you won't be able to choose exactly which manufacturer you want. As soon as you join the event, you'll be able to see if other players are also in the event. If no one else joins, it will be a much easier time for you. But be careful, if other players join, because some are very high in level and have the end game weaponry that can sink you very quickly. Basically, you need to stay within the zone that is highlighted and destroy as many ships and buildings as possible until your progress reaches 100%. Once it does, then the manufactory is all yours. The second and much easier option is the PVE event. So far, these PVE events don't seem to happen as frequently as the PVP event. You'll be notified when it is available by a blue icon called Legendary Heist. This event can only have up to three players in it at a time, so make sure you accept it quickly. If it gets filled up by other players, you'll have to wait for another PVE event to begin, which can take some time. Basically, here you'll be intercepting a French convoy, and one ship will have the cargo that you need. You can identify this ship because it has gold trim around its health bar and the ship itself is painted in a yellow and gold paint. Once you sink it, you can pick up the loot and now you sail that loot back to St. Anne. But there is no fast travel allowed during this, so a quick ship will make your life a lot easier. And watch out for the privateers that try to stop you along the way. Okay, so now you know how to get a manufactory. So let's get into how we best optimize and maintain them so they generate the most pieces of eight. Obviously continue to take part in the PVE and PVP events so you can grow your number of manufactories you own. And then when in the helm map, you can easily monitor your manufactories. Once you control a manufactory, you will need to invest silver to get it up and operational. Now you will see it produce a certain amount of pieces of eight per hour. And you can also see its storage size. Once its storage is full, it will no longer produce pieces of eight. You can reinvest your pieces of eight into them to improve production rate and storage if you like. This saves you a lot of trips in the long run as you won't be running back and forth a lot with smaller amounts. Your manufacturers will need more coin to keep them running and this is shown with the red exclamation icon. Simply spend silver on it and it'll be back up and operational. Let's get into the more finer details so you can get even more pieces of eight. All manufactories have trade routes that link each other. If you control the linked manufactories, you will get a percentage increase to those manufactories production rates. The easiest way to see the trade routes is to highlight the trade route you want and it will show you the manufactory that is at both ends of the trade route. It will even give you a tick in green if you are receiving that trade boost. Here you can see it's giving me a 5% production increase between both manufactories. So across all your manufactories, if you're connecting the trade routes, that's a massive multiplier. To increase this again, you can control all manufactories in the territory, and this will net you a massive bonus to production. If you zoom out on the map, it'll show each territory outlined by a white line. If you control all manufactories in a territory, the territory will be highlighted light blue, like this. This also gives you a great screen to monitor production. The territory bonuses are huge, just in the Red Isles section, the multiplier can be anywhere from 10% all the way up to 30%. And that's a lot more pieces of eight for you to buy all sorts of weaponry and the rare ship. That's the best ways to get the most pieces of eight consistently. 
There is also double or nothing events that you can do, but it's very risky and you can lose it all. If you know some helpful information about maximizing manufactories, please let me know down below. So I mentioned earlier that when your manufactories are at capacity, they also stop production and you have to pick up the pieces of eight and sail them back to St. Anne. You can do this in little short trips from manufactory to back base, or you can do a big trip and have lots of stops along the way to save time. But be careful doing it this way because each manufacturer you collect from will increase the amount of rival pirates that will try and hunt you down and it can get very full on. I'll quickly show you some of the powerful weapons and the rare ship that the pieces of eight will get you. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this helpful in setting up your smuggling empire. If you got something out of it, can you please hit the thumbs up as it really helps my small channel out. I'm always looking for new drink ingredients. What can I try today?